Hello everyone, I'm Gyeong Sik from Meta. Today I'm talking about our paper, A Data Set of Related 3D Interacting Hands, of Certified New Age 2023 Data Stance and Benchmarks Track. We humans interact with world through hands. For example, we interact with various types of objects with our hands. Also, we express our feeling or intention through hand gestures, which takes a major part in nonverbal communications. In addition to such single hand motions, we often make interaction with our two hands. For example, we often fold our two hands together while having random chats with our colleagues, or make a free gesture for a special purpose. This table shows a comparison of all publicly available 3D hand datasets. Despite the importance of understanding interaction between two hands, there are only few datasets with strong interaction between two hands. Most of them, except for interhand two-point system dataset, are small scale, which are not enough to train neural networks. Let's first analyze the pros and cons of each dataset type. Interhand 2.6 dataset, which belongs to lab dataset, provides large-scale real captured images with diverse 3D ground shoes. One downside of it is that monotonous image appearances as all images are captured from a studio, not from the diverse indoor-outdoor environments. HIC dataset, which belongs to a natural dataset, provides small-scale real captured images with 3D ground shoes. Although it provides images whose appearances are closer to those of indoor images than the lab dataset, one downside of it is uh, that it provides small amount of and less diverse 3D ground shoots. This is because it is captured with a single or couple of cameras to capture images outside of studios. Ego 3D hands, which belongs to a competitive dataset, provide large scale and synthetic images with 3D ground shoots. Its images are composited with random background images with rendered hands. As they use simple linear blending for the composition, their image quality are not very good. Due to the large scale and diverse 3D ground shoes, Interhand 2.6 them has been widely used by the community. Although Interhand dataset made a breakthrough in the 3D hand community, one problem of Interhand dataset is that image appearances are far from those of indoor images. To address such image appearance domain gap, we present our dataset Re-Interhand dataset, which consists of related images of interacting hands. The limitation of interhand dataset is the monotonous image appearances as it was captured in a constrained capture studio. We enhance the appearance diversity using the state of the art relating network. Our new re interhand dataset can be a complementary dataset as it provides diverse appearances of images with accurate and diverse 3D ground truth, while images have mid level realism due to the image synthesis process. We made our capture with a two stage pipeline. First, in the capture stage, we track 3D geometry of hands accurately from 10 captures. Then in the relaxed stage, we use state-of-the-art hand relating network that takes 3D hand geometry and environmental map to render related images. Previous inter-hand 2.6 obtained 3D ground truths by triangulating 2D key point data detections to the 3D space using 100 cameras. We found that such a triangulation-based approach suffered from jittering results as RANSEC algorithm could pick very different viewpoint even for very close frames when key points are barely be visible. Instead, we train a powerful deep 3D CNN, V2B PostNet, which takes voxel light 3D scan of each hand and outputs 3D key point coordinates. The video shows that 3D meshes and key point from our V2B PostNet produces much more accurate and stable results than the triangulation-based approach of Interhand 2.6M. Our re-Interhand dataset consists of 10 captures where each capture is taken from a unique ID. We recruited the subject as diverse as possible in terms of gender and race. One big advantage of our dataset is that we can render images to any viewpoint if we have camera parameters. To contribute to egocentric 3D hand community, we additionally render our related images to simulated egocentric viewpoints. This graph shows that our re interhand dataset has the strongest interaction between two hands. For example, ours has the shortest distance between hands on average and the highest ratio of contacting hands compared to existing datasets. This DSNE shows that our re-interhand dataset has the most diverse 3D interacting hands compared to interhand 2.6M and HIC datasets. We released three items, related images, foreground mask, and 3D ground truth. This video shows an example of third-person viewpoint split. And this video shows an example of the egocentric viewpoint split. There are multiple splits in our dataset. The first one provides images rendered from third-person viewpoints where each frame has different environmental map. 
In this way, the diversity of the environment map becomes very high. The second one provides images rendered from third-person viewpoints where their frames belong to the same segment and have the same environment map. Therefore, temporal consistency of the background is guaranteed for each segment, suitable for the video-based research. The third one provides images rendered from the egocentric viewpoints where each frame has a different environmental map. And the last one is the same egocentric viewpoint, but frames belong to the same segment have the same environmental map. Experimental results show that the effectiveness of our light stage. Adding more data from the capture stage does not affect the result on HIC, which is a natural data set. Composite, which is figure 8b, and the composite with adaptive instance normalization, figure 8c, do not affect, actually negatively affect, because it does not preserve a skin color. Our produces um, the error, reduces the error on HIC data set, which shows that our new images with diverse appearances could be beneficial for 3D interacting hand recovery in the wild. Our data is publicly available, so please check out if you're interested in. Thanks for listening.